What if you could turn a simple sketch, a 3D model, or even a floor plan into a full photorealistic render? Instantly. Today I'm testing Google's new AI tool, Nano Banana, to see if it can really handle architecture. This model, officially called Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, lives inside the Google AI Studio. People say it can edit, blend, and generate stunning visuals from almost anything. So I wanted to see what it can do for architects and designers. I've prepared five tests, from a 3D model to render, all the way to turning a sketch into complete visual. Let's see how far it can go. Let's start inside. Here is a raw 3D model. I just defined the basic geometry and the materials. I want to see how Nano Banana can interpret this space and make it feel lived in, warm and believable. And as usual in my videos, all the prompts will be available in the pinned comment down below. So as usual, we are uploading our image, putting our prompt. I want to generate a modern minimalist living room interior with natural light. And let's see what results we can get. Okay, that's really impressive. The light direction is spot on. The AI added soft diffuse glow, which gives it a real sense of depth. The reflections on the floor are subtle, but believable. And the way the sunlight falls on the sofa, that's convincing. The details and geometry feels quite all right. It's not bad. So overall, it doesn't feel like a photorealistic image, but it feels like a proper render. That's all right. And this could really be used for the early design client's presentations or the client mood boards. Right, there is one more thing. Maybe you could try make it more photorealistic. And let's see what results we can get. Right, it seems like it didn't change really anything. So that will be our final image then. So now let's see the comparison between the 3D model of that living room and the visual. Right, now it's time to test another interior, but this time it will be kitchen and open dining. So for this one, what I would like to achieve is will be really good texture of the marble and the wood in the kitchen. So I would like it to really focus on the material quality. All right, that's really impressive. That's nice. I like it. Nano Banana put really good materials here. I'm really glad to see that. But to be honest, for me, it lacks the shadows on the floor and I think they really could improve that image. So let's see how it will look with the shadows on. Right, the shadows seem a little bit too strong. They are not that subtle, so it makes the image less realistic. But overall, it's pretty good. I'm happy to give this image as our final one and let's see the comparison between the 3D model and the render. It's really good. The overall effect with Nano Banana is amazing, especially having in mind the time it took. Next up, for the test number two, we have the exterior. This is just a massing model, very simple textures and very simple geometry. Let's ask Nano Banana to transform it into a finished architectural render. So this is the image of a simple 3D model of the two-story villa. But on this one, we'll have lots of greenery, we'll have the water in the swimming pool, so we can also test with Nano Banana how it deals with these aspects. Okay, that's surprisingly clean. The timber texture feels natural and the lighting angle makes the form pop. I'm happy with the overall atmosphere of that image and the sky, but it didn't really do anything to the landscape. So let's change that. I wanted to generate realistic lawn and the small greenery in the foreground and around the building, but also will be good to have other villas in the background along with some tall trees. So let's see what results we can get. That's really nice. I'm happy with the subtle landscaping and the small shrubs. The context of the image is good, although I don't particularly like those villas in the background. So now let's compare the images. It's not perfect, but for the concept design and quick render alternatives, this could really save hours. Now let's continue testing the exterior with another 3D image. But before I will show you that image, if you are enjoying this video, please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow. So the next image is a front view on the very simple minimalistic villa. Let's see what we can get. Oh, it looks great. That's nice. The reflections and the overall atmosphere of the image. I'm really happy with that. That's good. Although Nano Banana generated some lawn and a pool of water in front of the property, obviously that needs to be road and pavement. Also, I think it will be beneficial for the image if we can have some trees in the background, so it will make the building stand out. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm happy with that. Although there's one more thing. The image is a little bit blurred. It's not that crisp, so let's change that. Right, now we have the second image and I can't really see any difference. 
yeah, it's okay. I guess that will be our final image then. So when you compare the 3D model of that villa and the visual, it's a huge difference. Now, what if all you have is just a facade drawing? Can Nano Banana visualize that into the proper render? So let's see how it can transform the 2D drawing into the 3D model. Okay, that's pretty good. It understood the facade proportions and generate consistent materials. There are nice windows reflections in the light direction. It added some slight shadowing under the overhangs and the generally the sense of depth is okay. But what I think would be beneficial for that image is to add the cars and the people to make it more realistic. Also, some greenery would be good. Mm, that's not so great. The trees are too tall and the people are too big on the foreground. So now I will just ask it to reduce the scale of the trees and add people just in the immediate foreground of the building. Alright, that's a little bit better with the people, but still the trees are definitely too big. But I think that's not Nano Banana's fault. I think it's my faulty prompt. So now I will rewrite my prompt and let's start from the second image it generated before I started adding trees. Alright, finally, that's impressive. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, looks great. And the scales and proportions are finally right. So now check out the comparison between 2D elevations and the proper 3D visual. It's really enhanced. It's great. For the test number 4, I've selected something more challenging. This is a 2D floor plan. So no perspective, no height information. Can Nano Banana visualize it in three dimensions? Oh wow, that looks great. It interpreted where the walls and doors should be. The furniture looks all right. Just look at the open living room and the dining area. They look exactly like they should. For architects, this could be really the fast way to communicate the spatial flow before modeling anything. Right now, when I started to review that properly, it doesn't really feel right. Just look at that room with a huge bed inside. That was meant to be wardrobe for the bedroom. Another one, these two bedrooms should have back-to-back -back beds. And now we have bed orientated differently in one bedroom and no bed in the other one. The end suites seems quite alright, but there is no entrance door to the room. Also, the staircase feels just wrong. Right, so for the first impression, I was really happy to see that outcome. But when I started to analyze that, it's full of mistakes. Nope. Finally, test number five and the one that I was most curious about. Can Nano Banana turn a hand sketch into a proper visual? So this is the hand sketch of the modern villa with red brick walls and plenty of glazing surfaces. Oh wow, that's impressive and it did that at the first try? It kept the exact perspective from the sketch, even the roof shapes and the windows placement are aligned. It added the proper texture and the light that feels natural. This looks like professional render. I'm really happy with the greenery and the trees on that image. For early design development, this could really replace the hand sketches completely. Just look at the comparison between the hand sketch and the visual done by Nano Banana. That's perfect. So can Nano Banana actually render architecture? For quick visualizations, absolutely. It's brilliant for turning raw geometry, sketches or drawings into something that you can show to a client or a colleague. But it's not perfect, the details are still distorted, and you don't have the full fine control you would get with the proper 3D software. Think of it more as an idea accelerator. It's a way to visualize possibilities instantly. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and leave me a comment below with your ideas for AI models you would like me to try next. Alright, so that was Google's Nano Banana. But if you think that was good, wait until you see what Render AI can do. It's right here, go watch it next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.